Welcome back to Ruler School. Today we're going to be talking about a very important element of the game, battle. But to do that, we're going to need to look at a game board, so let's go to that footage now. In order to perform an attack, you have to choose a target to perform the attack. This target can be a recovered J Ruler or Resonator you controlled since the beginning of the turn. It can also be a card that has swiftness, as this ability makes it so that summoning sickness doesn't apply. Your attack target can be either an arrested J Ruler or Resonator that your opponent controls, or your opponent themselves. At this point in time, the opposing player can choose whether or not to declare a blocker. Any J Ruler or Resonator on their side of the board that is recovered can act as a blocker unless the card otherwise says so. In order to block, you rest your blocker. Declaring a blocker shifts the focus of the attacking Resonator or J Ruler's attack to the blocker. If the attacking Resonator has the ability First Strike, they will apply their damage first, at this point of the game. If there is no First Strike, then we move on to Battle Resolution. If the attacking J Ruler or Resonator is attacking a rested J Ruler or Resonator, it assigns its damage equal to its attack to the attack target. At the same time, the attack target will assign its attack value to the attacking Resonator as damage. If at any point in time a Resonator on either side of the board has taken damage equal to or greater than their defense value, they are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Keep in mind that any damage that is done to a specific Resonator or J Ruler is persistent until the end of the turn. If the attacking monster is attacking your opponent and it wasn't blocked, damage equal to that creature's attack is dealt to the opponent's life points. It's important to note that the battle phase can occur multiple times during one turn, and a player can go back and forth between their main phase and their battle phase as long as they have the resources or resonators to do so. So there you have it. That's combat in the game of Force of Will. And that's it for this episode of Ruler School. Feel free to click on this video over here to be taken to the next lesson, or go ahead and let the playlist autoplay to be taken to the next video automatically. Go ahead, like, comment down below, and subscribe so that you're kept up to date on every single video that I put out on this channel, as well as any potential future episodes of Ruler School. And as always, this is DMO73. Class dismissed.